Hello gun enthusiasts and aficionados. Here we have another model 12-2. This is the aluminum frame with the steel cylinder and a steel barrel. Snubby. K-frame. Now the thing about the K-frame, I'm sorry, the uh, model 12 K-frame, it's unique. You see how it's, see that gap there? These are standard aftermarket grips I purchased at Altamont. Very nice grips. They feel great on here except for that gap. So I'm trying to get the right grips for this gun. But they're expensive as hell. Because this is a Model 12 and it's got a thinner butt. It's got a skinny ass. It does. The Model 12 has a skinny ass. I got a Model 12 um, 4 inch with a square butt. This is the round butt. Aren't those nice grips though? Man, they look so nice. It's too bad they don't fit. I guess I could sand them down, but I just, I'm not gonna do that to these things. I'm not gonna ruin them. So anyway, uh, it's got a flat latch. It's got a pin barrel. It's got a ramp sight, as opposed to the, my uh, four inch has got a half moon sight that's been notched, you know? This has the more modern ramp sight. Oops, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Okay, we have six shots. This is a K frame. Remember, it's an aluminum frame. That's a 12 2. Let's see if you can see that. There it is. See that down there? All dash twos are cool. <clears throat> They're more like the twelve dash one and the I mean I'm sorry, the twelve and the pre twelve were made of uh, the cylinder was aluminum on those and they had problems with them. They were called the air crewmen. And the pilots used to used to carry them because they were so light. Except that the freaking cylinders were blowing up. They couldn't fix it, they tried different ammunition. And they, they just couldn't get it right, so they said they rounded them all up and destroyed them. And the few that are remaining out there are worth a lot of money. They're very collectible. Of course, you would never shoot one unless you're an idiot, but uh, this 12 2 is safe to shoot regular, not plus B. Thank you very much. But uh, when I get the right grips for this, I'll probably make another video. But I thought about getting some <laughs> some caulk, some black caulk and sticking it in there. What do you think? Is that a good idea, huh? Just kidding. It's a pretty good size gap, though. These grips are so hard, though. They, they don't give, man. They feel really good and comfy. And this gun is, it's a, it's a little bit of freaking frame, so it's light. So it's really great for carrying. And this really has good action. Better than my four inch. Man, we just touch it and that cylinder pop, just pops there. It's just sitting there waiting for you. Bam, bam. You hear that? You hear that? There's the bolt engaging the cylinder. What's that called? A cylinder notch? I don't know what it's called. Flat latch. They're more rare, I believe. They're worth more money. Case hardened. Hammer and trigger. Grooved trigger. It's called a trench sight. Fixed. You can see the difference in the metal. The uh, the cylinder, since it's steel, looks a little bit different from the frame. You can just see it. You can see the see the see the right here. This is steel. This is aluminum. So it's they say you can use the same bluing 
material and depending on the steel it's going to be a different color. The steel determines the hardness or whatever or what it's made up of, how it's going to, uh, how the blue is going to adhere to it. But this uh, aluminum frame, this finish is not a, your typical blue, blue finish. This is some other kind of finish. I don't know. I think it looks like it's painted on there for crying out loud. But I don't know. Somebody knows, let me know. Look at that. Very nice. Let's see. Where's my thing? There it is. Stay up there. Come on. Let's keep your keep your keep your nose up. He doesn't want to keep his nose up. Come on. There. You gotta be proud, man. You gotta keep your nose up. So anyway, this is uh, Gilly T signing out. Take care of your guns, and they'll take care of you. Thanks for watching.